Welcome back everyone, this is KCBL and welcome to the second league game of the 2022 season. Today we got an exciting match, we got Yetis versus Buffaloes. Buffaloes obviously going to sweep two times today, we'll see how it plays out. I don't think so, I, my draft picks are not here today, they are busy doing other things, not really sure. So I did pick up one guy off of the free agency, his name is JJ Medlock, I think he will be a big add-on for the Yetis. I also made a quick adjustment to my roster, Dallas could not show up today so I went ahead and picked up Trevor Severino, aka my brother. So we got a little bit of young talent and we also have a lot of that Team KCBL experience because Kyle knows. We also have a lot of Team KCBL experience on the Buffaloes, obviously me playing in a lot of those out of town tournaments and also Kyle made an appearance in the Sunflower Series so he has some experience with those guys down the league. It is a windy one here out on College Field. Wind's going straight out to center field, so hopefully we get to see some bombs today and make some good content for you guys. Oh my god. All right, let's head down for some player interviews. All right, so you're on the brand new team. This is your first ever game in the 2022 series. What are your thoughts going into this season? Just looking at be a team player, get some good wins. Hoping to make championship games, but uh, right now we're just looking to punch the ball and uh, win by a big margin. And what do you think about your team captain? Uh, Great guy, great pitcher, great hitter, and uh, probably the best team captain here. So JJ, you were picked up off the free agency by Matt Foster. I was. What are your thoughts going into the 2022 series? Um, it's windy out today, so I'm just an elevated ball. You know, it's in about 350, you know. Right, so Trent Severino did pick, what's your name? Trevor. Trevor Severino off the free agency. What are your predictions for the game? Uh, I think my team's gonna win. Buffalo's for the win. All right, so where's the score? Uh, let's go 16-6. 16-6, to all right. Game one of series two, we got the Buffaloes, we got the JJ. We have the Buffalo, there's the Yetis. This is the bad time. We'll be home the second game. So we'll be, we'll be visiting the first game. We are here for game one of the second series of the KCBL season. On the mound is Trent Severino. Leading off today, we will have JJ Medlock. Go. JJ getting ahead in the count right here for his first ever at bat. And Trent comes back with a ball just low. All right, and the 4-0 pitch from Mr. Severino is ball four, closer to me than it was the strike zone. Matt looking for the bomb. Trent trying to get his first out of the year. And the pitch is in. Oh, Matt, now two and one to Matt Foster. Trent is yet to hit the strike zone. And brings it in. Oh my goodness, that is filthy. Trent has some pretty good velo and some nasty movement. Trying to get Matt out right here. Now 3-2. Pitches in. Riser nicks the outside. What a pitch from Trent. Beautiful pitch by Trent Sever right now. Beautiful pitch. I have a feeling he is taking it. Yep. Trying to get his timing down, and there's the first strike hit the zone. So strikes is going to be a key. Another pitch comes in. And now 3-2 for KJ. 3-2 pitch from Trent Severino is a nasty riser. Now two outs, Trent Severino with two straight Ks, bringing up Matt Foster again. Contact here, get the first hit of the day on the board for the Yetis. First pitch is in, oh, puts a nice hack on it. Now 0-1, the next pitch. Trent comes in with a nasty screwball. Now another one. As he brings it in and strikes him out. Absolutely nasty pitching from Trent Severino. The, what I'm trying, I'm trying to center it. Oh my God, there goes the tripod. All right, the 1-0 pitch to Severino. A nice pitch from JJ. Now four and one. JJ looking to find the zone here. Brings it in, this is just high. And that will be a walk for Trent Severino. Now bringing up Kyle Belcher. Kyle played in the Sunflower Series tournament, had a couple of really nice hits. Let's see if he can pick it up here in the league. And a nice pitch from JJ. Right, the one-on-one -on -one pitch. Oh, ball in play. 
We'll be out at first. Good play by Matt Foster. Very good play. Trevor Severino, brother of Chris. Inferior brother. Oh, oh, pitch. Very nice pitch from JJ. He oh, not a bad pitch from JJ at all. One out, two on. First pitch he at bat. Paints the corner. What a pitch by JJ. Okay. Now one and one. And, and he fouls it off of his hand. Trent has two strikes on him now. JJ looking to pull out of this mess. Now we have a 2-2 two -two count. Comes in, nicks it. What a pitch. Strike three for Trent Severino to sit him down. No hits. Now the 2-0 count. Nice pitch, fouled back from Kyle. Both teams looking for something big here. And another pitch in, and a very nice pitch from JJ. Big situation in the bottom of the first. Pitch from JJ. Fouls it. Safe error. Oh, an error from JJ. That is going to allow two runs to score. The Buffalo now have a 2 0 lead on the Yeti from the error by JJ Bedrock. Now 4 0. And JJ walks him. Kyle on second again, rocking those nice pink, nice pink underwear. Totally overpaid for them. What is that going on? And a nice pitch from JJ with the riser with the open face here. Nice pitch. Painted the top left corner. With two on, two out. Here's the pitch from JJ. And that's a face hit down the line. Kyle coming in to score. Misses. And that will be another run. Trent will sit at third. With a two-run single with an error from Matt Foster. Now making the game four to zero. All right. Runner on third, nice pitch. One and one. Another pitch in, very nice from JJ. Smelling a strike right here. This will be strike three to end the inning. I knew it. I knew it. Here, phone. You get to be in my selfie. <laughs> And a nasty pitch. One one pitch for Kyle. Comes in as a nasty sinker. All right, two two pitch. It's a nasty fastball. Matt has had a pretty good history off of Kyle in some of the games that we have played. Let's see what he can do here. And a fair ball. No. It is foul. It is a one one count. And that's a ball in play. The wind could move it. Nope, it definitely doesn't. That was a pretty sad looking fly ball from Matt Foster. Now two outs. JJ up to bat. And a nasty two seam catch in the bottom inside corner. From down 0 2. And draws himself a walk. It's blitz ball. It's hard to hit. Now run on first two outs. And a nasty, nasty pitch from Kyle. And the pitch to Matt Foster. Nicks the top of the zone. Now the 3-2 pitch, the Yetis are starting to work into better counts. But with two outs, what can Matt do? Swings and misses at a changeup. Two more. Now 40. And Matt paints one, top corner plethora of pitches, has a lot to go to, this is with a riser high, and that is now a runner on first, and this is the marquee matchup we have been waiting for, one of the best hitters in the league, up against one of the best pitchers in Matt Foster, a Cy Young candidate versus a batting average title candidate, and then we have that kid over there. First pitch, nasty pitch, now 0-1. Two seam paints outside. Two to Trent. Matt tries a two seam. Excuse me. Matt throws a screwball to strike him out. Four and zero to Trevor. This is not the batter you want to walk. And walks him. Matt is still struggling. 
foul ball. Now at 4-1, Matt potentially walking in a run right here. Fouls it off into the zone. A very nice pitch from Matt. Oh, Matt misses outside with the screwball. That will walk in Kyle Belcher. And that will make this a 5-0 ball game. Now 4-1, bases loaded with only one out. And Matt misses up and away. Now making it 6-0 with Trevor coming in. Now 2-0. Trevor. Ball in play. And that would be a double play to end the inning. That is a huge momentum shifter. Coming up top of the third with Kyle Belcher on the mound to close this out for the Buffaloes. 4-1 pitch from Kyle Belcher. Will be low. Now a leadoff runner on for the Yetis. And now the 1-0 pitch to Matt Foster. Will be a strike. That is a nasty two seam right there. And Matt swings at a ball. The 3-2 pitch. In and nicks the corner. Absolutely painted from Kyle Belcher. Most likely will not come back in this count, but you never know. Oh, pulls up to bunt. It's getting in his head. The bases are now juiced with the rookie, JJ Medlock. Looks to make this a five run game. Ball comes in and misses. Oh, Matt puts it in play. What is he doing? Oh, Matt puts it in play. What is he doing? Turn of events. All momentum for the end. Just gone. Right here. Pitch comes in. Very nasty pitch. And that is 3 2. Base is loaded. Two outs to bring up the tying run. Here's Kyle Belcher with the pitch. He hits it, it's in play. And that is the ball game right there. Yeah. Trent Severino with a beautiful play. Kyle Belcher with a strong two innings. That's the ball game. Buffalo win five to one. The Yetis will start off 0-1 and the Buffalo will start off 1-0. Kyle, you have your first game in the Kansas City Blitzball League under the belt. How do you feel about it going into game two? Really good. Uh, pitching wise, first inning was really strong. Came out, only had one walk. Second inning, a little rough, couldn't find the zone, but uh, did what we needed to do. Got the ball in play. Got some silly outs by Matt. Hitting wise, how did you guys think you fared against Matt Foster and JJ Medlock? Um, we were good. We were patient. Very, very patient. With a windy day like today, um, can't do much more than be patient. Trent, what did you think of your first overall draft pick and Kyle Belcher? I think I made the best choice. Uh, came out here, shoved, did his job. Uh, we had a lot of good APs out of the both of them. Even my late free agent pick, Trevor. Um, I think going into the season, we're going to be a solid contending team for that World Series title. Did you think your late free agent signing, JJ, performed today? Very well, actually. I was very impressed with uh, my pickup. Obviously better than the guys who didn't show up today. It's no surprise we're going to ask you about the question on swinging on the 4-0 pitch. What yeah. was going through your head on, so, on swinging at that? Wind's blowing out and up. If I just elevate it, I thought it was just going to float over the fence. But I obviously missed the barrel part. We're trying to get Matt out right here. Now three two. It's Dan Riser Nicky outside. Here's the pitch to JJ. And that's a safe hit down the line. He hits it, it's in play. And that is the ball game right there. 